You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another DVD collection video. This is another theme DVD collection video, and there will be a lot of overlap here with my Go Nagai collection, because a lot of this stuff is Go Nagai, but as you can see by the title, we're talking about my Discotech Media Collection. So we're starting off with Violence Jack. We're going to move on by number of discs, and that's how we're going to differentiate between them. Violence Jack only has one disc, as it's only three episodes, so it is where we're going to start. Discotech Media is my favorite anime distributor in the U.S., so that's why I have so many of these, and I really do like what this company puts out, so that's why I'm doing a whole video on it. I do also own some stuff that was later re-released by Discotech, but this is only actually going over the ones that actually are Discotech releases, because some of the stuff I have are older releases. But here we have Chibichara Gonagai World, which again also only has one disc, but it also only has three episodes. It's that fun little chibi parody spin-off of Devil Man, Mazinger Z, and Violence Jack all wrapped into one. We're also separating this by format. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but I will show Blu-rays after the DVDs. But here we have the Dr. Slump movie collection with movies 1 through 5. This is the only Dr. Slump that it at all has been released in the U.S. There's disc 1, and there's disc 2. These movies are highly worth watching, though, especially if you're a fan of Akira Toriyama and his other stuff like Dragon Ball, etc. Because if you don't know, Dr. Slump is in the same universe as Dragon Ball. Okay, we're up to three discs. We have Ghost Stories, which was originally released by uh, ADV, who actually did the dub. ADV Films are the ones who did the dub on this. And this does, as a matter of fact, include the ADV dub, which is good, because if it didn't, uh, it would probably be boring, because from what I've heard, it actually really sucks to watch this one in the original Japanese. Because if you don't know, Ghost Stories dub was a parody dub that basically took everything and made it a lot less serious and more comedic than it originally was, because it was originally a horror series, but they turned it into a comedy. As you can see, the discs are pretty much the same. Also, I want to mention Eastern Star and Discotech are the same thing. Some things will have one or the other, but most of them have both logos. Here we have Mazinger Edition Z, The Impact, also known as Shin Mazinger or Shin Mazinger Impact Z. There's a lot of names for this series, but it's the Mazinger Z remake. And as you can see, it has four discs. Here we have the original 1972 Devilman anime. This is my introduction to Devilman itself. Violence Jack, of course, introduced me to Devilman as a franchise, but this is my introduction to actual Devilman. This is one of the only ones of the box sets I have that has a slipcase. There's disc one, there's disc three, disc two, disc four, and disc five. Here we have Mazinger Z Volume 1, which contains the first half of Mazinger Z, meaning the first 46 episodes. There's the back of the case. And the art on all these discs are the same, but it is a six-disc uh, six set. Here's Mazinger Z Volume 2, which obviously contains the second half of Mazinger Z. There's the back of the case on that one. So, obviously, episodes 47 through 92. And once again, it is a six-disc set with all the discs having the same artwork. Here we have Great Mazinger, which was the sequel to Mazinger Z. This contains the entire series on Blu-ray, so all 56 episodes in standard definition. I really like this SD on Blu-ray thing they do, because they take the standard definition episodes and just put them all on one disc, which makes it really convenient. There's the disc itself. Alright, here we have the Devilman OVA series, or the first two OVAs, rather. They don't have the third one, which is unfortunate, but that has never had a US release, to my knowledge. There's the back of the case on that. And there's the disc. Uh, this is, of course, a re-release. I do also have the original release that was released uh, by Manga Entertainment back in the 90s. And this set also includes the audio drama. And look what's out of order. I actually forgot to pick this one up because it fell on the floor. So here we have Cutie Honey, the original 1973 series. So, so much for being organized. I could edit them to be in order, but I don't think I care enough to do that. But as you can see, it contains four discs. And to wrap us up here, we have Fist of the North Star, the complete original TV series. It contains both Fist of the North Star and Fist of the North Star 2. So it's all 152 episodes of the series. I also want to mention that uh, this uh, does come with a slipcase, but I lost it. And it's more of that SD on, on Blu-ray stuff, so it's like all of the series on three Blu-ray discs. Yeah, so that does it for my Discotech collection. Like I said, Discotech's my favorite distributor of anime in the U.S. because they go back and do a lot of old-school stuff, so that's really cool. Not to mention they have a good chunk of the Gonagai stuff over here. But anyway, this has been Fugitive Red. I have a great day.